Hey there, I have a fun project to share with you today. We are going to be making three-dimensional models called regular solids with this kit called Plato's Glowmobile. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the box and show you what's inside. And if you don't have access to this kit, then at the end of this video, I'll show you an alternative on how you can do this using toothpicks and some wax. So the kit comes with everything you need in order to construct the five regular solids. It has directions, and the directions were really easy to follow. They were very helpful. And a little bit about the history of these um, geometric shapes. And then it comes with several of these bamboo sticks that are cut down to size. And then a whole bag of these connector pieces that are stiffer than a rubber band, but they're still um, you can still squish them and you can pierce them with the piercer that comes with this kit. So, and they glow in the dark, which is kind of cool. So I've just tried to put them in front of the lights here and now I'm turning out the lights so that you can kind of get an idea. It's um, hard to show on camera, but they do glow in the dark, which is neat. Okay, so it comes with this, um, it kind of looks like a paper piercer, only it's made out of wood and you use it to pierce holes into the connector pieces and I had a I struggled with that a little bit and so eventually I used a different tool just to um, make the hole and then I used the tool that came with the kit in order to enlarge the hole so that it was easier to get those bamboo sticks into these little connector pieces because you need to fit at least three or more bamboo pieces into each connector piece in order to make these solids. So while I was doing this I thought that this project was going to end up being too difficult for the kids because I had to really struggle quite a bit in order to get the bamboo sticks into these connector pieces but to my surprise the next morning the kids made all the shapes like in the course of like a couple hours they had a blast doing it they liked it so much they wanted just to continue making these um, their fingers did hurt by the end of it it, it did kind of take a toll on their fingers but it was really thrilling to do um, anyway so here I am just trying to get this um, piece together this shape together just so I can show you what one of them looks like and I'm leaving all this in to show you that I did have to struggle with it quite a bit in the beginning, but after you get the hang of it, it actually goes by quite a bit faster, and these these um, little connector pieces hold the bamboo sticks really well. So I've made the three um, the the pyramid that has the triangle base, and this is I think the easiest of all the projects, and so this is just a still shot of it. And if you don't have this kit, I want to show you an alternative. I'm using these um, toothpicks that have a pointy end to them. You don't want to use the flat toothpicks. And I'm using some wax, and this is um, some higher end wax that you can get from Waldorf suppliers online. And you could use anything. You could use wax, you could use clay, you could even use Play-Doh, but the wax holds pretty well together. So instead of you know, breaking into this new box of wax, I'm going to use all of our little remnant pieces of wax that we accumulate over time that get mixed together and that nobody else wants to play with. And so this is a great use for this um, for this project. So it's a cold morning and it's going to take a while to get these um, these bits of wax kind of shaped into uh, balls. But I'm going to try to do about maybe 10 little shapes so that I can um, assemble um, this this pyramid. So a couple of those toothpicks were a little bit crooked. You do want to be careful not to poke all the way through the wax and um, pierce your finger. And so this project is really great for I would say third or fourth grade on up. Using wax makes this project go by really fast and easy. It's very easy to pierce um, the wax with these toothpicks. And so I'm just going to add this last piece in at the top, and there you have it. It's the tetrahedron, which is um, a triangle-based pyramid, and it was the shape that represented fire. Okay, so I'm going to assemble one more here, and this is the cube, or the oct or I'm sorry, the hexahedron, so it's six-sided. And again, it goes by so much quicker than the kit that we purchased. However, the kit that we purchased, those models are going to stay uh, firm. They're larger and they're not going to, I think, break apart as easily. So here's the um, 
isosahedron, which is the shape that represents water. And here are all the shapes together. Now, they're made with wax, and so you don't want to have this like in front of a heat source or in front of direct sunlight because it will melt and the whole thing might fall apart. Okay, so uh, if you want to stop here, you can, but if you want to see some of the other um, shapes that we made, then you can keep watching. So um, the following morning after I had made my sample, my son decided that he was going to work on one, and he did a great job and liked it so much that he decided to attempt one of the more difficult, larger ones. So this is the shape for water, and so it has um, it's made out of triangles and it's, it has many sides. But it's actually surprisingly pretty easy to make this particular um, model. The only thing is that it's kind of a struggle to get these bamboo sticks into these little um, like rubbery connectors. And so he, um, he manages to use the tool that comes with the kit to pierce a hole into these little um, rubber connectors and to um, enlarge the hole enough that the bamboo sticks can go in. You just want to be mindful that you don't poke all the way through, that you don't, you know, pierce your finger. And these are bamboo sticks, and so there were little bits of splinters here and there, and luckily my kids didn't get any splinters in their fingers, but you do want to be aware of that. So to make this one, I had given him some general instructions, and it turns out that we ended up using too many bamboo sticks to make the triangles that configure the top of this shape. So we just needed to remove some of them and some of the connectors, and that was okay. It didn't take long to assemble this one, and it's a really cool shape. So what's nice about this kit is that these shapes are going to hold together very well, probably for a really long time and they're very sturdy. And so this is what the model looks like when it's all done. And now my younger son is going to be making one as well. And he struggled with this a little bit more, but he did a great job, he did the cube. So my kids loved doing this, and when they were done, they were tossing these shapes around. They didn't break, none of the um, bamboo sticks broke, I think. Out of all of them, I think only one of them cracked, and it might have come like that, or it might have been when my kids were trying to um, put it in one of the connectors. So I think that this is a well-made product. So there he is done with his shape, and actually I made a mistake. He made, he made the octahedron, which is the, um, it looks like a pyramid with a square base, and then the pyramid underneath as well. Okay, so this is one of the last shapes that we made, and my 13-year-old uh, started this one, and it is the dodecahedron. And making this particular shape, the exterior, didn't take long at all, um, and the, the directions for it were really um, well laid out, so my son was able to do this. The only thing is that it needed a lot of interconnected pieces, which I'm showing you right here, in order to keep this whole model, um, in order for it to keep its shape, and in order for it to be strong and sturdy. And so once my son had completed the exterior of the model, I went in to help him with the interior. And I only thought it needed like a couple of these interconnected pieces, but actually you need one for every face of this um, shape. So when you've got the connector pieces in, they don't wiggle around, but if you don't have them in, it really can manipulate the shape quite a bit. And so in order to make these interconnecting pieces, you just need one rubbery connector and five bamboo sticks. And then it holds its shape really well. And this is the one that my kids were tossing around and it didn't break. And so this is what it looks like when it's done. So we had a great time with this project. So if you enjoyed watching us put together these three-dimensional shapes and you want to see some of the other projects that we've done for our math unit, you can click the left side of the screen. And if you want to see how we came about putting our unit study for math together, you can click the right side of the screen. And as always, you can check out my website at pepperandpine.com. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.